All right, guys, let's do the ninja twist. Um, we'll get into it from a cross position. Meredith's going to step over my torso. She's going to step into my feet. Whoa! Yeah. This position I feel is safe enough to try as a beginner's position because she's really low already on the ground, okay? More than likely she'll land on her feet. Okay, so let's break it down. Watch my toe placement. The common mistake is right there in the heels. Sitting down. This is very uncomfortable. She's shaking her head. Right there. These are the balls of the feet, okay? Okay. I'm grabbing her uh, thighs, pushing up. Okay, a lot of you guys have done this before. A lot of variations of this. She can grab her own calves. She's there. She can split out wide. She can tuck her knees in. And grab her feet back. A lot of positions. She can even load us. <laughs> right? Wow. Hi, Mom. A lot of, a lot of different variations, right? Um, two things you can do using incorporating your arms, which is where I want you guys to transition to, being able to use more and more of your hands to create more interesting positions than just spurred or thrown with your feet, right? So from here, I can grab the back of her thighs here and start work. Um, let's go ahead and stay in the lotus. We can start working out. This is like a human bench press. It's learning how to, how to use your, your back muscles and your shoulder muscles to feel that stack. So this is safe. You can, before you do candle and stuff, learn this. She's low enough to where she won't get hurt. Getting your arms stacked like this. Okay. Um, you can even start getting her to a thrown position on your hands. So from there, let's say she unwraps, she can wrap her legs around your arms. You can start practicing what it feels like to have weight into your hands like this, okay? So she's just here for now. You can slowly walk your feet back on her back there and see how that feels, having that stack. Open the legs up a little, there you go. So she's here, okay? Uh, one thing you can do is keep the feet there. If you want to add a styling thing, instead of bringing your feet all the way down, cross them like this. Mm -hmm. If she falls, the feet are close enough she can catch. And also it looks okay like that, okay? She can lean back. If she falls, she falls on your shins like this and tries to tuck her knee and turn towards the mat. Let's just, just fall back on her back, okay? Or just try to turn towards that mat. So let's work on that. Let's see how that feels on your arms, building that strength for it. Demonstrating again. Okay, remember if she opens her knees out more, it'll be more comfortable on my wrists and my hands. My hand placement is right here. Close the knee there. She wraps, she opens out, she sits. So for me, actually this is not as comfortable. Let's try placing it in, see how that changes things. And if that doesn't, then work it in more, okay? So she's wrapping, sitting. Keep the weight into the armpit for, for now, so you feel, you feel stacked and then you can slowly take a foot away. Back, slowly take the other one away. Find that stack. If she falls, what does she do? She unwraps her leg. This is going to be a tremendous amount of weight in your wrist and arms. We're building up to it. So for now, keep that weight, the fly, keep the weight into the feet. Start feeling what that feels like and that'll build up the strength and the stabilizer muscles that you need when you're doing candle and other positions where you're just balancing the person on your hands only. Okay. Questions? Okay, let's go.